Hello everyone, uh, we are live to do commentary in the semi-finals of the Collegiate Chess League uh, Bug House Tournament uh, in the semi-final stage and we are off to the races it's Drunken Mushy and 1B3 versus a Murder Castle and Trick and Lily Oh my god, Chess just raided you! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> Hey, what's up, Chess24? Thank you for the raid. We are tuning in at the very beginning of the Collegiate Chess League Bug House Championship Bracket Tournament. Uh, my name is Joe. I'm the commissioner of the Collegiate Chess League, and I'm joined by Chuck Moulton, who's also streaming. He is a Bug House legend. Uh, but right now, we have the semifinals just starting. This is literally game one. The match is a best of 10, and the two teams are Vanderbilt University and uc davis so as you can see both these players are very high rated or both these teams rather i should say and uh one thing to note is that both these teams throughout the bracket have been undefeated so far both teams sweeping the competition so they are 12 and 0 i going don't into think this they matchup. will remain undefeated i think one of them will be defeated here exactly and we're going to find out who and not only that, but the winner of this match will move on to the finals to play against the winner between U Chicago, which has a Wonder Leong, and Washington University in St. Louis. So that match should be starting any minute as well. So Bishop at C5, a very good move for 1B3. It guards F2 and attacks at the same time. Uh, his king is safe. Drunken Mushi is going to be going for a run. I don't know if he can survive this run. Honestly, probably not. Um, but he's going to try his best. Yeah, king e7, keeping an eye on the d8 square. There is a knight that could give check. Yeah. It, if his opponent gets nothing else, then he's safe. Ooh, up, okay, I don't so think was the right way. I think he should have gone down and told his partner to hold stuff. Um, ah, so oh, the okay. Well, this, comes in with this the works. It, his partner is sitting now, so now they're down like ten seconds, and his partner doesn't really have initiative. I think his partner should try bishop takes knight to try to get some initiative. Okay, he's trying a different way to get initiative. And he grabs this the is center pawn. Dangerous though, Check. because now I pawn at d two is e4. possible. Uh, like, I, I see he's trying to attack, but now b3 is going to be defending. And this is pretty hard to defend. So Bishop takes g2. Bishop takes g2 is a pretty good move. It's going to get initiative for Chicken Lily. Rook d8 pinning the pawn on d4, but also preventing queen d7. That would have been a devastating check. Yep. Pawn block. There goes the bishop. Pawn to e4, getting initiative on the this, king. This takes bi bishop move is really good because now bishop takes bishop is possible, keeping him somewhat safe. But he's probably going to go all in instead. Actually, there's mate. Knight at f3. Pawn takes knight. Queen at g2. Bishop takes pawn, and then queen at g2 is going to be either mate or close to it. This is not mate, mm. what he just did. Um, wow. I, I don't think Tricky Lily sees the mate. Queen. It's It involves, like, sacking oh, pieces, sack. but he's so, up yeah, that's crazy. a ton of time. So his partner could just sit, and the queen sack for sure works. So knight at oh, f3 should... is the move. I need to shout out Chess24. Thank you so much again for the raid. Welcome, everyone. What's up, Spinny? Akshansh, appreciate you. Yeah, welcome to Chess24, folks. Drunken Ooh, Mushy is getting mated, mate. too. Uh, oh. So that, that's a more straightforward G6. mate. It would have been nice to see the fancy mate, though, on the other board. Norder, thank you for the follow, as well as Denya Kletev and Offlex. Appreciate you all. So game one goes to Vanderbilt. That is UC Davis's first loss in this tournament. It is a best of 10, so it's the first to five and a half wins. If they tie 5-5, five, five, it's next point wins. Bishop to f3. I love this move from Drunken Mushy. Yeah, Drunken Mushy's doing good. Uh, 1b3 also doing good here, although pawn at e3 
could start to give him some trouble if Chikalili could attack. Chikalili is defending his bishop. Mates. Trade knight takes with the fork, so the rook has to take. Takes the rook. Pawn takes on d6. Pawn takes back. Knight's hitting the bishop, as well as the d5 pawn. So a murder castle has all the important squares covered. He could consider sacking his queen, but more likely... He does. Oh, okay. And not accepted. Wow, knight to f6. What was that move? That's great for a murder castle. The murder castle still needs to worry a little bit about knight at f3. Not anymore. Rook Get taking the open g file. I like what Chicka Lily is doing. Chicka Lily going in on these dark squares. Yeah, 1b3 is getting checked. Bishop to c3 is devastating. And not only that, Chicka Lily has a very safe king, which is very important. I, I hear I like bishop at h4 because it helps defend and attack at the same time. But Rook's he's at. just going to keep going in. Knight takes, threatening the c2 pawn. Rook defends it. But a heavy still may... Well, actually, no. The knight on c3 guards d1 and e2. So this knight on h5 is a hero. Guard in g3. Rook takes g2 is a possible threat from Chickalilly. Pawn to f6. 1b3 is trying to get some counterplay. Uh, rook takes g3 is the move, and he doesn't see it. Davis is up a couple of seconds here. Chickalilly is starting to get important. in some trouble. Chickalilly has all four knights. So, he's so not sure could everything. play bishop takes f3. Because, I mean, if the queen takes back or the pawn takes back, there's knight d2 or new knight at d2. In fact, knight at d2 right now is pretty good. I like knight at d2 for Chickalilly. Because if knight takes, you have bishop takes queen. Queen trade offered on the other board. Oh, he finds it. Knight d2 is brutal. That forces the queen trade. Just more checks coming in now. Queen yeah. takes his mate. Nice. Nice find. So Vanderbilt up 2 nothing. Strong start for them. Can Davis answer back? A murder castle has weak dark squares. Not really a fan of this knight e7 opening, though a lot of players play it. Ooh. He's going to get attacked a lot. Joker Mafia just needs a pawn. Just wins the queen. Yeah. And I don't know if he even wants the queen. Oh, he does want the queen. Okay. He could consider knight a4 until he gets a knight, but that allows this knight to get out of e7 and the dark square bishop to help defend. Drunken Mushy just playing defensively. One b3 is trying to get in on this king. Ooh, knight d6 check. So g3 is a huge hole in the position for Chickalilly. Rook takes, knight takes. There's knight f7. Ooh, knight c5. Look at all these knights. Hitting the queen uh, here. Uh, we don't care about the queen. Um, I think we should go the, for the king. Pawn to g3. Checks. Pawn at g3 is the move for sure. I'm not sure what we're waiting for. Or, oh, oh, I see what you're saying. There's a discovered knight check. That is yeah, a problem. Taking the queen, a not lot. a problem. Discovered knight check is a problem. Um, there. Okay. Uh, uh, if he gets a rook, <laughs> rook at h1 is an interesting move. Okay, there's the double check. Okay, I don't think he lives to this. Placing a bishop on e7 would have <laughs> also been pretty good. But there goes the knight. Where's where's the follow up? E four. 
Uh, I would put a new bishop on e4, because um, you still want to guard... Okay. Whoa, okay, he's just... Uh, he's threatening mate. Bishop to g4 is mate. Sure. Uh, I think 1b3 should go all out. Queen at h1 would be my suggestion. Queen at h1, king knight takes G3. knight check, pawn takes, pawn takes. You have a discovered attack from the rook. I just I don't think that white would do that. Pawn takes with discovery, but that frees up the G six square. The okay, maybe maybe B three is living here. Knight doesn't take the queen instead going. Yeah, that's doesn't accomplish anything. Pawn at G three is the move here. We got to get in on the king. These these uh are the best bug house players that are competing in the tournament. So there was a registration process last week. We had qualifiers. And oh my goodness, Queen G2 for the pawn. Pawn, what is going on here? He's trying to clear up the H4 square where he could put a knight. Chickalili, I think, is defending well. Yes, yeah. Check and block. We're threatening rook h1. Yep. This is going to be game over for 1b3. Put, like, a pawn uh, although he doesn't have pawns right now. Oh, they are they are up time though. They're up five seconds. He can get pawns. A couple pawns are catastrophic. Even, even one pawn mates. One pawn because then you have rook at f8 as a follow up. True. And uh, they are up time, so I think Chickalili is actually just going to wait for that. Wow. That's going to be a 3 be nothing start. Even without that. I'm looking at, like, knight... Like okay, knight never mind. G5 ideas. Yeah, yeah, knight g5 matter. and then rook at e7. Okay. Ooh, I liked knight check to get a free rook there before. Knight at c2 when the queen pin was on. But now everything's defended from a murder castle. So it appears that uh, a wonder is unable to make it or just hasn't shown so the other team is claiming a forfeit wow okay um so after this match the winner should be playing washington university in st louis that means it's anyone's game because a wonder was for sure the favorite yeah i think a wonder is probably occupied in baku right now oh queen trade on offer knight takes queen bishop takes queen So this is bug house. This is um, 2v2 chess. <clears throat> so essentially, when you capture a piece, your opponent then gets it on the side, and they can then place that piece wherever they want. The only exception is that you cannot put pawns on the first or eighth rank. So as you can see here, there's, there's queens on the board. You, typically, the queens can be placed with checkmate. It's a really common tactic. Chuck Moulton is the bug house professional here. He, you guys can, get, he is like a command in his chat that I'm sure links to some article that like explains everything. Uh, yep, that's what I copy and pasted into your chat yeah, there. Yeah, there it is. Brilliant. So Drunken Mushy up a bit of time. Hard for Chickalilly to defend this. I think Drunken Mushy is stalling to allow his partner to get the queen in the mix. I assume we're going to have to go like rook back to defend c7. If rook goes back, you have knight c5, knight takes rook. Okay, now a pawn is crushing. Pawn check, promote the pawn. And this is going to go to the drunken mushy team. Well, that would be 
you know, okay, a pawn mate. Oh, one. whoa. Okay, now he needs another pawn. That was a mistake. Um, if he had played bishop at e7, uh, knight takes would be forced, other queen takes, and it would have been mate. Um, but now he needs oh, the, more the knight, material. The knight guards, oh, you want him to play bishop e7. Yeah, yeah um, before he sacked his queen. Uh, yeah, I mean, it sense. was a fake queen he sacked, by the way, I think. I think there was a fake queen. Um, but okay, that works too. The, knight, the rook wins. All right, so you see Davis on the board, one to three. So the Vanderbilt team is halfway to winning the match. They need two and a half more points, so. But, and these uh, players may not even know the stakes. They might think that they're still playing against a wonder. Yeah, they would probably assume that. I love bishop to eight, a6, preventing a murder castle from castling. Oh, that's a free queen. Bishop yeah. takes free queen, yeah. Forgot about the knight on d5. Maybe the Davis team. And honestly, he shouldn't even take the queen. Um, Mounting a comeback. Uh, okay, no, well, now he should take the queen. Um, yeah, so pawn just blocked. But if that bishop. pawn hadn't been blocking, he could have waited for a queen to mate. But. Exactly. Using the e2 square. So now, okay, I was thinking take on e3 is good because we want to remove a defender of d2. Yep. In fact, you could take the knight and the bishop, removing all defenders of, of d2. Rook at b2 is an option. Okay, rook over. This is good. B8 instead. Allowing castles. That's why I would have liked to take on e3 first. I really think Drunkamushi should be moving faster, but maybe he's feeding a lot of moves to his partner. I'm not sure. Yeah, so okay, he's trying to get his queen common. active. Ooh, I don't know if I like this rook trade, because now the queen and b8 are both hanging, and the pawn on c6. But didn't go rook b8 check. Instead, bring in the bishops, rook block on d6. Pawn on e5 would be gnarly, but trades first. Queen's attacking e3 with a check. Defending this also. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't like that move by 1b3. So, by the way, a rook mates for Drunken Mushy. Um, even without the rook, he has a pretty good position. Um, I think he should throw in the first knight check. There it is. And now, he potentially... Hmm, this is a tough... Okay, he's putting a knight on the check. other side. No, he doesn't oh, see the bishops move backwards. Game. Bishops move <sighs> backwards. Even I saw that. <laughs> oh, no. Drunk and mushy. That is just unfortunate. This bishop is a hero. It's captured a lot of pieces. That's a huge swing. And now Murder Castle is on the, on the attack. A queen still mates for Drunken Mushy. Oh, man. But uh, he's down too much time. His I partner taste. can't force it. Oh. No, this was, this was their game. That's so unfortunate. This was a throw, yeah. Down so, 10 seconds, no way you can survive a chess. So they're resigning it. Yeah, that's a huge point swing. That would have been 3-2 to two instead of 4-1. to one. Also, BQB barbecue in the chat. <laughs> um, do, you, do you play Bughouse on chess.com? Yeah, so These generally, players are generally, very high rated. Generally, knights and um, generally knights and bishops are considered to be equal strength. Um, the, a lot of people intuitively favor the knights because they because when you check them, or there are checks and forks where you can't interpose a piece. But bishops are good for attacking and defending at the same time. Queen trade offered. And that benefits Decline. 1b3, because 1b3 is on the attack. I love the pawn on f6. So knight e... Uh, okay, knight f3 would win a queen. Jokomashi is down time, though. Check. Another check. 
That bishop can be captured so many ways. Hmm. Knight b3, trying to get into c5. Forced in trades, but all of a sudden Chicka Lily is the one attacking. Yeah, pawn h3 is a nice move, going after g2. Yep. Bughouse is a very popular club format. The drunken mushy has a good attacking position, but he's just down so much time. They need to move faster. Yeah, Vanderbilt team the is The murder fast. castle has gotten quite safe. Okay, there's a free queen offered on the chick lily board. Knight at e2 wins a queen. I guess it's a queen trade, but uh, I mean his chick lily is definitely attacking, so he can afford the queen trade. Knight takes a2 first. Oh, and nice. Queen mate. Nice wow, mate. Okay, so Great board vision. Vanderbilt just needs a draw, and I suspect they'll be able to get it, so. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Particularly Vanderbilt already picked up a free piece. Wash you, assuming they hold and win. Is he trade of knights? No? Queen takes? Bishop in. Any queen move. G2 Has the murder falls. castle always been 2300? I feel like he was lower rated before. Maybe he hadn't played much bug house. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But either way, pretty strong player. Yeah. Knight in with check. King moves. I like pawn h6. Bishop in. Yeah, just not even caring about the rook on h1. Just He's going trying to get out. initiative. Exactly. Rook is defending and attacking. Takes. Rook takes. Pawn in. Now the rook could move. But doesn't want to. Wow. Queen g8. Ultra defensive. That's probably what's needed this position though. I think you should just take the knight. Pawn takes the knight. Seems reasonable. Yep, played. Now there's queen takes, but then you gotta watch out for knight on d7, potentially. Instead, just giving a check. So, king simply Chicken moves. Lily should be safe here. <clears throat> this knight does a good job of also defending e5, because bishop at e5 was also a threat if queen takes pawn. Wow. Uh, wow. Okay, given the queen, this should be Chicken Lily's everything. game now. What was bishop h8, man? That's something else. Knight in. Something's gonna land on f6. There it is. Yeah, Bishop queen's check. coming in. This is, this is gonna be mate. Queen at e7. Oh, he's bringing the oh, other queen, queen in. That's first. clinical. Really nice. So That's I assume you need a bishop lovely. block. There's gonna need to be a queen sack for this. Probably a queen sack, but it, it'll work out. There it is. Okay. And that's that's it, right? Yeah, six to one. GG's. Yeah. GG's in the chat. Is, is the other team already ready for the finals, or do we have to wait like 30 minutes for that? Uh, they said that they'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay. So. Um, so what's going on in the interim? You want to partner up and play some Buckhouse? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We got 30 minutes to spare, I guess. Um, what else could be done? Well, I do, uh, I do want to take this moment to shout out our upcoming season. So the Collegiate Chess League is 
in the summer season right now, schools are not yet back in session, but once they start, uh, so too will the fall 2023 season. So we have $25,000 in prizes, and we also have uh, registration open. So if you check out that link, you can see the format and the rules. Um, and uh, yeah, we hope to see a lot of returning schools and a lot of new schools. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think this is going to be our biggest season yet. I, I think every season we kind of crush it. So uh, last season we had 15 divisions, over 100 schools competing, um, over 200 teams. So and, and it's international, right? It's all over the world. Yeah, yeah. Any any school, as long as it's a you know accredited university, uh, can register. You just need four players on a team. It's five plus two time control. And last year we had SLU win, and they were the first school to win a second championship out of six seasons. So um, that's St. Louis University. Yeah. Yeah. And they, of course, have a very stacked team, Benjamin Bach, um, as one of their players, Robbie Kevlishvili, as another. So, uh, but yeah, they, they're not the only school with multiple GMs. Uh, but I also want to mention that the Collegiate Chess League is not just for uh, GMs. Like I mentioned, there's 15 divisions. So we take the average of your team rating. The lowest division had a team average rating of below 800. So the league is very beginner friendly. There's really no limit to um, registering. It's completely free to join as well. And matches are typically held on Saturdays, but can be rescheduled. So it's pretty flexible for the college students. Um, and then, yeah, playoffs will wrap up just before Thanksgiving, and then we'll have another break before the spring semester. So the Collegiate Chess League does two regular seasons every year. And over the summer, we do a Bullet Championship and a Bug House Championship. So the Bullet was wrapped up two weeks ago, and you guys are watching the conclusion to the Bug House Championship today. Um, and then we also do weekly arenas that are public to anyone. And if you're not in college, maybe you're already graduated. We have an alumni network that we're starting. So if you were part of a chess club when you were in school, maybe uh, we can connect you guys and, and get that alumni club going. So lots of fun, exciting stuff for college chess and more to come throughout the year. So looking forward to all that. Awesome. The divisions are decided based off the average team rating upon registration. So essentially at the registration deadline, we take all of the teams and we just list them by rating. And so this season, the top division is going to be the top eight teams of the league. And then every division below that will have 16 teams, which is our usual format. Uh, hello, Ihi. Um, all right, so yeah, let me confirm with the players that they'll be ready at 11. And uh, if Okay. Yeah, Chuck, did you want to partner and play? Sure, let's do it. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Uh, all right.
There All we right. Go. Hold bishop the for on you. one move. Bishop's bad. Knight's Hold fine though. He can, he can give the knight. Um. Maybe bishop well, at h5. Bishop's fine now. At h, you mean h4? h5? Uh, h5 to attack the pawn and also attack f7. So I'm sacking the knight. All right. You want me to sack? Uh, you can sack if you want, or you can play a queen takes pawn, whatever, whatever you prefer. Going for me. <laughs> I'm, honestly, I'm just playing in Chuck's world right now. Um, should I go pawn back at? Uh, I actually. You don't. can sack, sack, sack it up. You have a knight already. So the knight, okay. Just uh, get him. Uh, uh, you're probably not gonna like this move, but. Oh, that's a good move. I like it. I'm expecting knight d4 at some point. Okay, what is going on? Oh, just take his rook. Free rook. Okay. And then I'm going to put a pawn on f7? Yeah, you could do that. That's fine. Should I still do you like queen trade? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Whatever's good for you. No heavy. Oh, yeah, okay. you can take the knight. Right, That's I'm a free knight. Tonight. Yeah. Look at all my knights. Nice. Oh, now I take the bishop, yeah? Sure. Yeah, we like free bishops. Threatening f7. Got it. Are you, you nice? <laughs> right back into the fold. All right, I'm probably going to get sacked on. <laughs> That's okay. I'll yep. keep you alive. Just take it off. <laughs> Remember to get your king's bishop out when the first time you have a chance. Perfect. Go back to f8. No queen. Yep. I like queen e7 uh, here. Queen e7 guard stuff. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay. <laughs> he could tempo that with a pawn, but that's okay. Maybe just push yeah. d6 so that your bishop guards f5. You also have knight d4. That's also good. I'm going to need to give a bishop here. You should roll out a move. Uh, either d6 or knight d4. Uh, here, like knight d4. You got to get that queen out of there. They could trade queens. But actually, no, I take with check. Whoa, yeah, take with check. <laughs> take with check for sure. No, no, I'm in check. Oh, okay. Yeah, queen takes bishop. That's fine. Queen trade's fine. And take his queen, obviously, if he takes your queen. Yeah. Okay, uh, you can knight check and win his queen. Yeah. And we F check. Um, put a pawn on e2. New pawn on e2. To threaten right. promotion. Yeah, heavy mates for me. Yep. This is pretty good, Chuck. Oh, you could have forced a queen trade. Um, yeah, I can do that later. You could promote that pawn. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm in check. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, okay. Let's just... Like... Nice, you're, you're threatening the, the exchange sack. Which threatens rook d7. Or not. <laughs> uh, you can knight check. Knight at f2 is going to lead to mate. Knight at f2 promote. followed by knight h3 after that. Can I just promote? No, no. <laughs> no? It's just knight at, eight, knight at f2. <laughs> then move your knight to h3. Then put a new knight at h2. All right. Got him. GG. Dude, I wonder if Sammy 
would watch us if he knew. You think Sammy knows? Sammy would drop whatever he's doing. <laughs> he would get fired to see this. No. Somebody get Sammy in here. I'm kind of liking the uh, the rating of the opponents we're getting. Yeah, I'm just kind of... doing infinity. Uh, so, the mixed bag. I'm losing Let's my bishop. Sit oh. before bishop. Uh, that's a free uh, knight. That. So, yeah. <laughs> just, just sit before bishop. We're up Probably a ton of time. Before. I don't know what she means, sit before bishop. It means don't move if you're going to give a bishop. Oh, okay. Because he wants bishop at c6, but if he doesn't get that, my position is pretty happy. I like uh, h5 here for you. Just to get your rook involved. Looks like they're both sitting. Uh, don't move. I'm going to take... Uh, yeah, take don't, <laughs> don't, don't move, because the, get... yeah, okay. the bishop, yeah, bishop annoys me a little bit. Yeah. Eventually, once I get Die. safe, you can... Take that, but uh, not yet. Sure. Should I message Sammy? Sure. We'll see. We'll see if he drops everything. So for the viewers, it's the diagonal clocks. Okay, actually put a bishop at f4. New bishop at f4. You want the queen trade. I see you. Yeah, because we're up so much time, we can essentially wait for whatever pieces we want. Yep. Uh, yeah, so it's the diagonal clocks that matter. It's my clock versus uh, Mahdi uh, ABH. And if both of us don't move, he's going to flag before I do. Okay, hold on. Don't move. I'm going to get You're you gonna something. Take the queen, yeah. Thank you. You found a good it's square great, for that. Great teamwork. All right, now we're playing some real people. Thank you. My guy's not moving. You guys giving really us a uh, handicap. Eaten. Very nice of them. It might have port. I'm going to sack a queen. Oh, okay. Are we going to get points for a win? Uh, probably you'll get points and I won't. If I had to guess. That's, that's ironic. Yes. I like your position though. I did get some points. Nice. Deserved. What about you? I did not get points. Dang, that's rough out there. Uh, interesting. That was over here. Um, Can this roll up moves, anything's fine. The night isn't great for me. Okay, good to know. They could take a knight of mine if they want. Okay. Good to know. I'm giving the knight. Sorry about that. No, it's it's fine now. Oh, he doesn't even want the knight. Okay. Um, I still would like to give a knight. Uh, I think I should uh, do I it. I think it's fine. It's fine. Okay. 
Hmm. How's the queen trade for you? Whatever's good for you. Does it matter? I'm trading queens. Oh, he doesn't even want it. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, stuff is good. Oh, we're down to 10 of time. Okay. Um, this is probably lost just based on time. Um, I'll try to Oops. find something What's to up, do. Brody? Sorry about that. Uh, no worries. Let's see. Um, Min Phila Waters. I've I've heard that comment before. But I'm glad you got recommended. Welcome. Ten seconds. Yep. Let's keep rolling. Um, I'm trading queens. Okay. Whoa. Uh, let's keep rolling. Everything's fine. Ah. Uh. Yes, I take. Oh. Oh, no. Sorry, Chuck, I just dropped something. Oh, that's fine. Just uh, keep rolling. Uh. Found a good move. All right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We got all four nights. It's okay. Oh, I got mated. Okay, good try. That was close. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, tough team. Oh, uh, these guys again. I don't know what I guess sitting for. We got about 10 minutes before the Vanderbilt and Wash U match starts. It's an hour, or sorry, it's the finals. Um, what's interesting is Wash U, they played in the qualifier to qualify, and then they haven't played since. <laughs> they didn't play in the bracket at all. Yesterday. A strategic my opponent's four for this strategy. morning. <laughs> yeah, they got good good bracket placement, it seems. Uh let's go here. Oh, I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> That's okay. I think your opponent's probably dumber. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, it's not right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody says yes. Oh, you got Brody in the chat. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Yes, I know. Brody, absolute legend. Every night. Yes. See, this is why I like playing these guys better than the 2K plus people, you know? Sure. It's 
outside. I don't have to think so hard. Undine, thanks for the follow. And that's where Eagle there and now in our chess as well. Okay. Um, ooh. This is a free rook you should probably take. A knight would have been uh, pretty yeah. good. Um, that's okay. I mean, you could castle and then the rook <laughs> would even be in play. You could develop your other knight. Just develop pieces and good stuff will happen. Just keep, just keep playing. Principal chess. I, mean, I guess a7 could, is a free pawn if you ever want to take that. We could just. We could just flag him. Oh, pawn <laughs> takes knight? It's helpful. <laughs> yeah. See, they got to block with something. You do. You could play queen f3 here, or you could just take the bishop, whatever you would do. I like queen f3. He's going to run out of yeah. defenders. He's got a block with the knight. Yep. Let's see. Where's the mate for you, Chuck? Um, you can move your knight to c7. Yep. I want to find the mate for you, though. Oh, uh, you want me to mate? Um, well, okay, I, you I wanted mate. you to mate. I felt like knight at f3 or something was good. Or, I don't know. Take twice on b2. Who knows? A method or K, thanks for the follow. You have knight takes knight. Yeah. And just take his bishop, I guess. <laughs> uh, either bishop, I guess, works. I mean, are, like... are we... Oh, we still have seven it minutes. It doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, last, last one. Okay. Oh, these are the guys that beat us. I'm probably sacking a queen. Yep. Or maybe not. I might be in trouble now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, queen mates me. Okay. Or, okay, whatever. Might be in a little bit of trouble too. Um, oh, you look like you're doing fine. Oh, uh, am I? Uh, I have to give the queen eventually. So I let me know G7. when I can do that. <laughs> I can take g7 defend. Uh, just, just queen takes e4 maybe. Um, it, or, yeah, okay. g7 is fine too. Sure. Um, yeah, our main problem is time, but uh, let me see. Maybe I can make it's something tradition. happen here. I got to give knights. I got to go for Hail Marys at this point. Yeah, my guy can try to... I don't know, how am I going to get this age pawn? We are up time now. Good to know. You want. It looks like you're doing stuff. That was the plan. But now it looks like you might be running out of steam. Hope not. Unless. <laughs> Do you have mate? Mm. Can yes. you push your seat? Wait. Oh, 
you do king takes b5 now uh i might have to put a knight on g3 i don't know just, just uh anything to live oh nice you lived did they resign got him revenge revenge right, is sweet no more games all right we we retire <laughs> <laughs> Good game, Chuck. Hey, Hi, Sourish. All right, we got to watch uh, the, the Bug House finals now. Okay. So, who am I following? Probably Ch Chicka Lily. Chicka Lily? Is there like a space in there? Um, it's a dash. Let me okay. team it to you. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's just unable. Unable to watch. Um, I can follow any of the four players if you if you can find one that's online. Watch you is ready. But yeah, you did great to survive that and be up time. That was amazing. <laughs> Well, I mean, you didn't give them any good pieces, so they couldn't keep attacking me, I guess. I was mostly just watching you play, Chuck. <laughs> okay. So what was the other guy? One was like a, a murder castle a or murder something? Castle. So we're just waiting for the Bug House Championship to start. Let me actually update our title. Oh yeah, I should do that too. I see PKR's plan. Oh, nice. I see Fishy Fantasy's plan. Oh, you know Fishy Fantasy? On Twitch. Oh, is he a Twitch streamer? Okay. Watch that He's game. He's at least that. a viewer. So I was all prepped to have a lot of a wonder um, color commentary, and then he's not in the finals. Uh, that's rough. Yeah. So we were talking about this before the um, before we got on uh, before we went live. A wonder's username on fix is a wonder seventeen twenty nine, and that's. In mathematics, that's the Ramanujan number. There's there's a story. Ramanujan is a famous Indian mathematician, and there's another mathematician who was visiting him. Uh, Ramanujan was in the hospital. The other mathematician said, "I just took a taxi, and the taxi number was seventeen twenty nine, which is a really boring number. So that's not a good omen." Then Ramanujan said, "That is actually a really good number because it's the smallest number." that is expressible as the sum of two cubes in two different ways. So it's one cubed plus 12 cubed, or nine cubed plus 10 cubed. Um, but just the fact that Ramanujan, off the top of his head, had <laughs> come up with this interesting thing about a number. So that's how great a mathematician he is. Well, Chicka Lily looks like he's doing really well against Shardhaven right now. And Amurkos is playing Chili Town. Oh, really? Um, hold on. Yeah, Where so is game that? one is underway. Oh, okay. So, so let me just follow 
Julie Town here. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I didn't realize that it started. So Chili Town picking up some free pieces. Oh, Nightmates for a murder castle with Rook at G2. Okay, Chili Town has protected it. Yeah, Knight G4 defends the F2 square. I th I, th I think he should play. Oh, okay. He's really trying to put him in a bind there. Now a Rook mates for Chili Town. Yeah, I don't think it should, the rook is coming. Um, Lots of yeah, this is looking pretty board. bad if it doesn't come. <clears throat> yeah, a murder castle has a maiden net here. I think Chilis is probably frustrated that his partner was stalling um, when he should have been <laughs> moving back then. So yeah, for a chess position, a murder castle is just crushing. Chili Town can only sack pieces to try to gain a second or two, but that's not going to help. Pawn push, tempo the queen. Um, uh, a murder castle a also has a super a. safe king. Uh, unless a queen trade happens, this is a win for a murder castle. A queen at g8, or even rook at g8 is good because rook at g8 and then pawn at g6. Pawns but, d7. No, but just... Without a rook, Chili Town is completely dead. This is undefendable. Whoa! Or, oh, that's a fake queen. That was a promoted queen. Okay. Yeah. It's a pawn. Yeah, pawn it's is not going to cut it. Pawn check, though. <laughs> Resigns. All right, so off to a good start. So this Vanderbilt team, they've only lost once to UC Davis. So they're 18-1 and one in the bracket. Actually, they're 19 and 1 now. So, 19 out of 20 games, not bad. Yeah, it's a stacked team. Kind of missing out on the A Wonder match, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, so, for those who don't know, uh, A Wonder Liang, the Grandmaster, uh, was supposed to play against the Chili Town team in the semifinals, but did not show up because he was. Busy, so was disqualified. But a wonder has won the Bug House World Championships. He's won the Crazy House World Championships. In addition to being a grandmaster, he's a very good player at these variants. Yeah, I don't think he doesn't have much to prove. Uh, but okay, Chili Town's getting quite the attack going. But yep. does it? End? I think like is the knight not just mate? Um, knight at h one is H interesting. Knight um, h five. Though, wait. Yeah, well, he can he... take the pawn, but I couldn't no. But he could have placed the knight on h5. Oh, his his knight on h4 is hanging. Yeah, but it's still uh, very good. Okay, this is either. mate for sure. Bishop at g2 is mate. Um, but nice. Shardhaven needs to live for like three seconds here. Should probably be able to do it. Uh, you Am would I right? think so, but uh, we'll see what happens here. Whoa, whoa! Hold your oh, okay. There, rook rook H eight is the threat. Uh, ah, <sighs> no, it is really close. Um, I think I think he can take this knight. Time now. Time is close enough. I think he can take this knight and live. Takes and then there's queen E. F oh, pawn. Ah, <gasps> this is this insane. Is... So getting Chica, scary. Chili, Chili Town has surely has me move. pre-moved. Yeah. In fact, I think they might be up time by now. Yeah, they are up time. Shorthaven does have at least one <laughs> more hard. move. It's hard to see both clocks at the same time. So, so what are you saying? Uh, King King G four. Uh, I would play King G four. But I'm a madman. Most people would sit here. So, 
But man, this is a hard fight between these two teams. I mean, they're going to go tooth and nail in this game, and it's going to tie it 1-1. So the king played the g4. Uh, rook g3 could be a move here. G3, I mean, what does that even do? Uh, oh, it, it guards, f, it guards f3. Yeah. Um, I like rook g3 for short haven. But they're even more up on time now. They are, yeah. Like, you can actually notice it. So, good game from Chili Town and Shardhaven finding a defense to survive. That's how important the clock is, folks. One second is the difference between winning and losing. Absolutely. I still like Rook G3. <laughs> hmm. There it is. Okay. A point one second left on a murder castle's clock. Nicely that's, done. And that's when, the difference. Wait, and when we saw the raid in change, we saw the discrepancy in this team. That was plus eleven for the Chili Town team. So that's the handicap they have. Yeah, I mean Chili Town and Murder Castle are both over twenty three hundred. Um, the second board it's Chicoli at twenty one hundred and Shardhaven at nineteen hundred. So about two hundred rating point difference there. Um, yeah, but technically, huge. yeah, outrating them on both boards. Pawn to e7. Nice little move there, forking the rooks. So, pawn at d7. Yeah, Chili Town's in a lot of trouble. Okay, but oh, this this is knight. a nice tactic. Take the knight, then take the pawn. So not dying just yet. All the materials on the other board. Yeah. Uh, so Chili Town trying to make something happen, but he really needs some trades. Shardhaven needs to keep playing. Like he can't sit here. Check. Pawn block to lure the bishop in to be under threat. So bishop for two pawns. Another check. Chili Town should just protect the knight. I think. Bishop to d3. So oh, now they're the down queen. five seconds. <laughs> like, uh, I, I don't know why Shardhaven keeps stalling. Oh, Whoa, wow. A sneaky pawn d2, getting a queen on the board. That's huge. For Chili Town. But can he use it? Maybe queen b4 would also help him defend. He found it. Yeah. Some checks. But now a murder castle's got the queen back. He does. Chica getting in on e3. So Chili Town wants a blocker, any non pawn piece, but I don't think he's going to get it. And that's the result. Wow, resigns. Crazy. Crazy game. All right, two to one lead for Vanderbilt. Bishop Battery. You see three often the triple bishop in chess. Okay, knight into f4 attacking the, the bishop on g6. Knight h8. Normally not a good move in chess, but a, an important defender there. Okay, going after g6 now. No, going after e6 with the fork. Now there's another fork on c7 if you want, or you could just take the rook on f8. Yeah, so is the chicken lily board on the left or the right for you? Uh, Chickaloo is on the left now. Yeah, the same it, for me. So I'm it, naturally it inclined to bit. follow the one on the left more than the one on the right. Of but, course, yes. <laughs> but uh, That's the where majority of my commentary goes. Yeah, but the Chili Town board is probably going to be the more interesting one in general. It's the top board. So yeah, Chili Town has a queen, but uh, Murder Castle's got a lot of material in hand. What's up, Seattle? You. We're watching the Bug House Finals. This is the championship match. This is between Washington University and St. Louis and Vanderbilt University. So Vanderbilt represented by the two titled players, Murder Castle and Chicka Lily, and Washington and St. Louis represented by Chili Town and Shardhaven. It's two to one right now. It's a best of ten. So first to five and a half wins. 
That's a free knight, no? Whoa, that's a free queen. Oh my goodness, Shardhaven just played too quickly against Chickley. That's, that's, I think, game over. Uh, yeah, but Chilitown is maiden, so... Oh my gosh, that, Chilitown, that, that knight he was just key, yeah. So, so yeah. He sacked the queen on purpose. Sure. Oh my goodness, Worth tied that. up 2-2. Two two. Wow, what amazing games. Hey, Beast Mode, I'm not playing, I'm doing commentary. We're watching some bug house here. <laughs> Maybe if, if the NM wants to play you afterwards. <laughs> Um, okay, knight g3, trade, going after this, this pinned f3 knight, there's a fork. Ooh, another check, to take on f1 with check? Sure. And then, okay, pawn g3 is a huge threat. Interesting, that's a great tactic. Is this going to win the queen? Surely. Pawn block? Oh, but knight takes, okay, that's a fork. And yeah, chili town is crushing. Actually, town's cooking over there. And now that they're up time, oh, I would have oh. taken the rook instead with the double check. Um, now all of a sudden, the murder castle is safer. Okay, well, winning the material though is Chili Town, so maybe Shardhaven can put it to good use. Shardhaven's getting attacked right now. I like knight f four. Yeah, or bishop h four. Mm, oh, okay. This is three. spicy. Knight at f four wow. now. And queen sack. This, yeah, it's a good queen sack. On an h5 uh, is mate. Nice uh, find. Chili Town's so good. And that's their first lead of the match. This is the first time Vanderbilt's down in a match. <laughs> and there's only a few games remaining. Yeah, our score is now 3 to 2. And it's the first to 5.5. Chuck, I don't know who the favorite was going in, but this is a very close match. Rook takes h2 from Shardhaven. Oh, Shardhaven is queen. attacking. Oh. Shardhaven is for sure going to mate here. On check, he needs a knight. Wait, uh, rook. Ooh, I don't like the rook there. I would have put it at oh. h1, but still, um, he's still oh, doing good. There's a queen now. Bishop check, block. That takes away a flight square. Rook e8. Now okay. Queen oh, F2. yeah, that's maiden. Queen takes e1. Yeah, that's maiden one. So now, oh. Oh, my God. Oh. And look at those plus tens they're farming. Dude. Four to two. Vanderbilt is on their heels right now. This match took a turn. Wait, what is f3? Is that f3 coming? and not a good move. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but at like, least he's going to keep moving. Comes, that's important. I'm like, is he trying to box out this knight on f6? Maybe. Okay, some trades. Pawn in on the dark squares. Just ignoring it. I mean, bishop takes f5, no? And he uh, needs more diagonals. Sure, or pawn takes knight. Um, I don't He Okay, he takes knight with check. and Okay, knight on g4. Nice move. Takes that wins the queen. queen takes uh, bishop, with bishop takes e5. e5. Okay, okay Sardhaven attacking. That's a very good idea. <laughs> Exploiting this F3 you... move. I F3, yeah. Ooh, I don't Ooh. like that. I would have played bishop at h4 because it would have helped with bishop takes knight for defense. Um, Good point. Hey, Sammy. Sammy, you missed Chuck and me playing earlier, but we're back on commentary duty. There goes the queen. This is the Bug House Championship match between Vanderbilt Ooh, and I don't like that and St. Louis. Rook take, I mean... Look at the pieces fly. Rooks doubled, attacking e2. Rooks doubled and bishops doubled for Shardhaven. <laughs> Grabbing a pawn. That pawn was irrelevant. No, oh, dude, the pawn was guarding d3. The bishop wants to get to d3 now. There it is, see? See, okay. there's, all, there's, the there's always a chest purpose. knowledge. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I mean, the, the knights just attacked three times, only defended twice. Maybe queen takes... Ooh, uh, that rook was really bad. Um, rook at h8. Whoa. Okay, I don't think he's going to live through this. Knight fork. He wants to put a rook on h8, so that's the point. I mean, Shardhaven, worst case, you could put a bishop on h8, right? Yeah, uh, if Shardhaven 
doesn't attack, he's going there's to a lose. Queen on the board, though. I like queen this queen check. move a lot. That's um, so there's actually a threat here with queen takes H4. queen takes h3. Oh, and murder castle wow. gets the main. Vanderbilt Chili Town. gets the win. So murder castle stopping Chili Town's streak. So it's three to four. Wash you still up by one. This is anyone's game here, folks. Queen e8. That the, was it was that a free knight, but instead he hung a bishop. Uh, Ouch. Yeah, yeah that's going to leave a mark. Blind, blind to the knight. That is unfortunate. Castles. Pawn check. So there's a free knight, but he's probably going to take g2 instead, because he I'm really likes to attack. G2. But taking g2 doesn't really lead anywhere, unless he gets like a knight and some more stuff. Chili Town downtime. I think Maybe he should just, just take, take the, knight. the knight. Yeah. And if he takes the knight, if pawn takes pawn, he has queen takes bishop. So after bishop takes knight, I probably like maybe pawn at h6 or a merger castle to start attacking. Yeah. Haven on trouble on his board. Knight fork. There's there's a queen yeah, pawn check to first. Town, to not gonna live through this. Or you could have put another knight. But... You could have taken the knight. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, Chili Town dead. Wow. We are all tied up. Four to four. Four to four now. So now it's a best of three. No. It's a best of... What? Is it a best of three? Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's basically a best of three. Anywho. Man, these players are fast. Just a check. I mean, I like Chicka Lily, man. Yeah, he's, he's put some moves on Russian the board. Here. Shard trying to defend. Chickalili trying to break through. Get an ugly. Takes that triple. Okay, yeah, Pawns. this is over. Knight in. Oh. On checkmate. On his mate, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that Shard even just kind of outlast here. That was so fast. All right, match point for Vanderbilt. Chili Town. And Shardhaven need a win here to tie it up. Chili Town has given up the queen. There goes the queen. Knight takes on e7 with check. Okay. Well, I guess it was ended up being a queen trade. And Chili rook Town e3. has a bit of initiative. Yeah, he's got the check. Shardhaven go is rook. safe. That's the most important criteria here. I shard I, with the white oh, pieces. I think Bishop at a4 was better because it would have guarded c2. But he's just oh, trying to feed Chili to Town, I think. Makes sense. Ooh, I don't like that. I would have taken h2. Okay, this, this makes sense. Uh, huh. What is going on? Knight takes? No? So trades are great for Chili Town. Interesting chess. Oh, being oh played right wait, now. the knight mates? Are they up time? They're up time. Okay, rook takes knight, knight at a6 check, pawn takes, and then rook at b7. That's that's what's going to happen. Mm. Wait, I'm not following. So, uh, Chili Town is going to take a white knight, Shardhaven is going to put the white knight on a6 check, pawn has to take the knight, and then there's a rook is going to land on b7. Ah, beautiful. Wow. So that's going to tie the match. One bishop block. Ooh, that may have been enough to make it not work. Uh, now they're downtime. Probably at this point, a rook at d8 is the best approach. Just trade the queen for the rook and... Uh, Keep rolling. Wait, rook at e8? Uh, rook at, sorry, rook at c8. c8. 
for uh, Shardhaven. I mean, could could Shardhaven find a move that buys them more time? Uh, weird. It's tough. Um, like, there's a lot of interesting like, moves here, but seven. maybe just Rook takes B4 could be interesting. Or, or I, I mean, Shardhaven has no, a good position, but the problem is trades are going to help a murder castle a lot. Um, like, like pawn at d6 is interesting. Rook at uh, c8 is interesting. Uh, pawn at a6. Like, um, pawn e7. Pawn e7. Whoa, he just puts a queen on a6. That's a spicy move. I like it. Whoa, he sacks the queen. Knight takes pawn. Murder castle has a queen now. Wait, can he get another knight? The, the problem is his partner oh, needs a blocker. So. He just drops the rook. Yeah, I, I don't think that was the way. Oh my goodness. So That could is, cost them the match. This, yeah, the, the match is Oh, but there's a knight cost. fork getting the queen. Wait, the queen on, on B7 is going to be mate. Yeah. Now Chili Town queen just needs here. to live for a few knight seconds. Knight check. Here. Okay. Queen C8, that's going to be mate. Shardhaven has mate. And yep. Rook takes rook. Yeah, I just got another. They're gonna do it. They're gonna convert it. Wait, okay. I don't like knight h two, but. <laughs> yeah, I think he no, needs to get some luck for his game. Maybe h six. It doesn't matter. They have time. Sure, but. <laughs> okay. There it is. They tied it. All right. Next this point is match wins, you guys. Point. Next point wins. Incredible. On demand, they clutch it to force a game 11. A murder castle spotting them some time? Wait, oh no. Uh-oh. Chili Town is going to take all this extra time. Uh, well, I don't even see the clocks moving. So uh, no, I, I don't be... either, but I'm assuming once he moves, we'll see the clocks move. Kind of sucks to see the match decided like this. Uh, oh, they're just trying to move now. I, I, um, I was gonna. Say, I don't know what took them so long. I was gonna say if there was like a connection issue, maybe we could have restarted the game. But yeah, I mean, spotting that kind of time is crazy. Maybe Shardhaven's giving the time, but no, I don't know. Uh, yeah, weird. Weird and rough. So rook mates we'll for Chili Town, but I don't see a rook coming. So Chili Town should just keep rolling. Does Bishop D want to move? Sure, that looks fun. He's gonna try to threaten checks instead. H four. Oh, now pawn at H two is very strong, and he can surely get a pawn. If he gets a knight, by the way, then bishop takes h3, pawn takes new knight at f3 is a possibility. But I think he's just going to wait for a pawn. He takes the, the knight. Okay, sure maybe anything. bishop takes h3 then. C8. Wait, was that a queen placed on c8? He just wants the rook? Oh, yeah, oh he, he wants the rook wants for the, the immediate mate. Okay, yeah. rook at d1. And they're up enough time. Yeah, I mean, About that's 15 the problem. Seconds. You, you, give, you spot that kind of time at the beginning. And That's... there's the only check available is queen at e1, which of course also gives a horizontal piece. So yeah, this is over. That's really a, a not fun way to lose if you're Vanderbilt. That is really unfortunate. I don't know. I don't know what happened there with the the delay at the start. I think if he had just like stalled out, I would have intervened. <laughs> yeah. Um so I don't know. But what a close match. I mean, holy smokes. Like as close as you can get it. Definitely a very entertaining finals for sure. So unfortunate to end like this. Yep. They're sitting it down, maybe hoping Chili Town has a sudden heart attack. 
All right. as well. It's over. Wash you GGs. with the comeback win over Vanderbilt. Congratulations to them. Um, crazy, crazy match. Wow. Um. Oh, Marie Chess is cheering for Vanderbilt. Yeah, well, unfortunately, she's, yeah. she's tuning little, in right as A little things. late. <laughs> um, Richess, if you had been here like three minutes earlier, that would have been a difference maker, and your Go Vanderbilt would have tilted the match the other direction. Perhaps. Um, well, honestly, I, I would love for these players to keep playing. That's so close. But um, yeah, Marie is a well famous Vanderbilt alum. Um, Honestly, are these guys here. close to me? <laughs> like, I, I mean, Vanderbilt is—is is that in Nashville? Or I'm just not. <laughs> I yeah, just I moved to so. Tennessee. I'm it's... still trying to like figure out maybe, what's what. But if there's strong bug really players near me, I should be playing them over the board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I I don't know how how free they are. Um, I know the summer they have some extra time, but um, yeah, maybe you could go visit the Vanderbilt Chess Club. That'd be fun. If there's strong players, I'd like to play. Well, I think I'm going to head out. Uh, so are you going to keep streaming? Um, Potentially. Uh, if I can find a partner. Marie Trust, do you want a partner? Or Swole19? Top block to zero. If anyone out there wants a partner, I can do it. Otherwise, I can play a few I random mean, cool I games. I just uh, raid someone. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sounds good. Thanks so much for letting me know about this and letting me co-commentate with you. Really appreciate yeah. it. And of uh, course. hope you have a great day. Uh, bye, Joe. You too. Thanks, Chuck. Take care. All right. So that's the great Joe Bruin, who was uh, playing from the Collegiate uh, Chess League, or streaming from the Collegiate